The solenoid valve is one of the inseparable tools of the industry, which is used in a wide variety of applications across many industries. In this video, we will discuss how solenoid valves work. We also cover three types of solenoid valves used in industry and one of the well-known applications in which solenoid valve is most frequently used. Okay, let us get started. The solenoid valve is an electromechanical actuator that converts electrical energy into a linear mechanical pull-push action. It is an on-off operated valve with no middle or in-between position, so it cannot throttle flow. The way solenoid valves work is different from each other, and that's why we have three main types of solenoid valves based on the operating principle. Direct acting, indirect acting, and semi-direct acting. First of all, we take a look at the direct acting solenoid valve. The main components of this type of solenoid valve are the coil winding, armature, spring, plunger, orifice, and valve body. For a normally closed valve in the rest position, the spring pushes down the plunger to effectively block the orifice and prevent the media flow from entering the orifice. When the power is applied and the current starts flowing through coil windings, an electromagnetic field builds up. The force of this electromagnetic field causes the plunger to move upwards against the action of the spring so the orifice can be opened, allowing the media to pass through. Once power gets interrupted and the electrical current stops flowing, it makes the magnetic field vanish. So, the spring pushes the plunger back into its original position, thus closing the valve orifice. Please note that the normally open valve works the opposite way. Generally, the direct acting solenoid valve is used for relatively low flow rates. It does not require differential pressure between the inlet and outlet ports for operation. Therefore, it can function from zero bar to the maximum pressure allowed. After reviewing the direct acting solenoid valve, let's look at the indirect acting solenoid valve and see how it works. Indirect acting solenoid valve, also known as servo or pilot operated solenoid valve, has the following main components. Core winding, armature, spring, plunger, valve body, pilot orifice, and diaphragm. Consider a normally closed valve as an example. There are two chambers that are separated by a diaphragm within the valve. There is a pinhole in the diaphragm where the media can flow from the inlet into the upper chamber, making the pressure equal in both chambers. However, the pressurized media in the upper chamber acts across a much broader area of the diaphragm than the media in the inlet. Therefore, the downward force above the diaphragm is greater than the upward force below it. This high pressure above the diaphragm, together with the presence of the supporting spring, will keep the valve closed and the media cannot flow. The chamber above the diaphragm is connected to the low pressure port by a small channel called a pilot orifice. The plunger blocks this channel in the closed position. When the solenoid energizes, it creates an electromagnetic field that pulls the plunger upwards. Now that the pilot orifice is opened, the pressure starts relieving from the upper chamber, making the upward force below the diaphragm stronger than the downward force above it. As a result, the diaphragm will be raised, allowing media to flow freely from the inlet to the outlet. As soon as solenoid is de-energized, the plunger will fall due to the spring force and make the pilot orifice close. Now that the media has accumulated at the top of the diaphragm, the pressure in the upper chamber will increase and it will cause the valve to close. Again, it's better to point out that the normally open valve has the opposite operating principle. The indirect acting solenoid valve is used in applications with a high flow rate to ensure a sufficient pressure difference, a minimum of around 0.5 bar between the inlet and outlet for the solenoid valve to operate. Continuing to learn about types of solenoid valves, we will consider the semi-direct acting solenoid valve and how it works. The semi-direct acting or assisted lift solenoid valve consists of the following components. Coil winding, armature, spring, plunger, orifice, diaphragm, and valve body. 
The semi-direct acting solenoid valve combines the characteristics of a direct and indirect valve with the difference that in this type of solenoid valve, the plunger is attached directly to the diaphragm. Take a look at the normally closed valve as an example. There are two chambers in the valve separated by the diaphragm. A tiny hole in the diaphragm connects these chambers, causing the pressure in both to equalize. The media in the upper chamber has more contact with the diaphragm than the media in the inlet. So, the diaphragm is forced down towards the valve seat, and as a result, the valve closes. When the solenoid energizes, an electromagnetic field is generated, which will affect the plunger's position. As the plunger is moved upwards, the diaphragm is lifted, and at the same time, the orifice opens, providing a connection between the upper chamber and the outlet. As a result, it reduces the pressure in the upper chamber, raising the diaphragm based on the pressure differential created on both sides of the diaphragm. The diaphragm is now lifted by both the plunger and the pressure difference. As soon as the solenoid is de-energized, the plunger falls and lowers the diaphragm and closes the orifice. Consequently, it causes an increase in pressure above the diaphragm and shuts the valve off. The semi-direct acting solenoid valve can be operated from zero bar and it provides controlling the high flow rates. It is worth mentioning that the function of the normally open valve is the opposite of the operating of the normally closed valve. Finally, we focus on an industrial application in which the solenoid valve is used as an actuator to control the level of liquid in the tank. When we press the start button, the pump motor is turned on, causing the tank to start filling up. Once the liquid covers the first probe, the low level limit, the conductivity level sensor sends a low level signal to the PLC, leading the PLC to close the solenoid valve. The pump motor continues to operate until the liquid covers the second probe, the high level limit. It makes the conductivity level sensor send a high level signal to the PLC, causing the PLC to turn off the pump motor and allowing the PLC to open the solenoid valve and let the tank level fall. Yoohoo! Congratulations! You have gained a solid understanding of the main types of solenoid valves and their working principles. If you have a unique experience working with solenoid valves, please share it with us in the comment section. Also, if you found this video helpful, please encourage us by liking the video, subscribing to our channel, and pressing the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we publish new out of the oven videos. This way, you keep motivating us to produce more informative videos.